Hi, R. Alexandra speaking. In this video, I'll be chatting about characters and the codes they live by, as well as taking you through two exercises. I hope this video helps you get to know your characters a little better. Writing a great character, part one, rules. What are rules and why does a character need them? A character needs internal rules to guide their actions. A common example of internal rules is the moral compass. The gut feeling people use to judge right from wrong. Yet fears and desires also play a part in shaping a character's thoughts and behaviours. These internal rules are powerful sources of tension as well as drivers of action and plot, so they are not to be overlooked. For example, a scaredy cat who is afraid of spiders may refuse to venture through a path full of cobwebs. An idealistic knight who wants to save their kingdom may hesitate if their true love was hellbent on destroying their land. A gentle and pacifistic barkeep would have to be pushed very far to even consider killing an enemy, while a vicious serial killer wouldn't hesitate. Character consistency is key. This doesn't mean a character has to be predictable, but their thoughts and actions need to feel as if they come from the same person. Even if you want them to behave unpredictably, whether they're having an identity crisis, being coerced, or manipulated by magical means, consistency still matters. Your character's unpredictable nature will have to be believable and remain in line with their personality. They should stay grounded in your story's reality, or it could break the immersion of the world you have created. Always consider whether the actions your character is currently taking are in line with how they've acted previously so that their behaviour is plausible and doesn't confuse your reader. Exercise 1. Are there any rules your character would never break, or things they wouldn't try? Consider these four options when answering the following questions. A. Definitely, your character would do this without hesitation. B. Yes, but your character would hesitate, slash only do so in certain situations. C. Your character would have to be pressured, slash incentivized to do this. D. Never, your character would never do this. Now, here's a helpful list to get you started. 1. Would your character take legal drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, or something that just exists in your story, etc.? 2. Would your character ask someone out, instead of waiting for someone else to make the first move? 3. Would your character ever wear a revealing outfit? 4. Would your character visit a haunted house? 5. Would your character have or adopt a child? 6. Would your character gamble? 7. Would your character pursue a risky career, one that might not provide monetarily? 8. Would your character hunt or kill for food? 9. Would your character take part in an extreme sport? 10. Would your character argue with an authority figure? Click the link in the video's description for an extended version of this exercise and the blog post it was based on. Exercise 2. Which of these lines would your character never cross? Would they commit these taboos? Are there any nefarious things that your character would do? Once again, consider these four options when answering the following questions. A. Definitely, your character would do this without hesitation. B. Yes, but your character would hesitate slash only do so in certain situations. C. Your character would have to be pressured slash incentivized to do this. D. Never. Your character would never do this. Here's another handy list. 1. Would your character commit murder? 2. Would your character take illegal drugs, cocaine, heroin, or a substance you've created? 3. Would your character commit adultery or cheat? 4. Would your character commit petty theft? 5. Would your character act violently, start a fight or assault someone? 
Six, would your character steal someone's identity or impersonate someone? Seven, would your character frame someone for a crime? Eight, would your character threaten someone? Nine, would your character commit arson? Ten, would your character kidnap someone? Click the link in the video's description for an extended version of this exercise too. These exercises are just to get the ball rolling and have hopefully made you consider different aspects of your character. But why are these your character's rules? Our internal rules don't exist within a vacuum and are a collage of many different influences. They are born through our family, culture and the world we are born into. Key events that may have traumatised or brought clarity play a part in informing character too. Even our innate instincts and temperament must be taken into account when considering why we will or won't do certain things. How does your character's nature and the way they've been nurtured intertwine? If your character's nation is at war, they might think killing is acceptable. If they are easily frightened, they might never go to an amusement park. If their parents argued a lot and had a messy divorce, they might not want to get married. How your character's rules inform their internal arc. Things that might have felt off limits to your character at the start of the book might be attempted by the end. Conversely, things your character thought were acceptable at the beginning might eventually feel abhorrent. Your character might love partying at the start of your book, but as your story plays out, they might begin to hate the loud music and obnoxious people. Your upper class character might start out seeing petty theft as a horrible crime, only to feel ashamed of their thoughts later on. So, by the end of your book, which of your character's opinions and rules have shifted? Are they now more daring or cautious? It's integral that these changes do not come out of nowhere, and small shifts make the most sense. Now, let us consider a character stranded in the wild who is forced to fend for themselves. At the start of the book, they'd never eat unusual foods, hunt or hurt an animal. The less daunting task of eating unusual foods would be the first one they'd breach, when they have to forage for fruits, nuts or berries. Then they might steal eggs from a bird's nest. They would not enjoy any of these things, but see them as necessary for survival. The first time they kill an animal may be accidental, in self-defence or a mercy kill. For example, they might find a suffering deer with a broken leg in the forest and put it out of its misery. And, even then, they may have to convince themselves to eat the venison. TLDR Your character should have internal rules that they live by. There should be things your character would do without question, and things they'd never even consider. These rules don't exist within a vacuum, and should be informed by the world they live in. When your character begins breaking or changing their rules, it should be a big deal and happen in small increments and be in line with the plot. Want more? For more videos on writing advice, subscribe to my YouTube channel. For more content in general, check out my website, Alexandra. And even if you found this video blander than unseasoned porridge, consider giving it a like, just for fun.